A farmer has 1,000 feet of fencing in a very big field. She wishes to enclose a regular area with the fencing. What is the largest rectangular area she can create? So I'm going to begin the problem by drawing the figure, right? We have a rectangular area that she has with 1,000 feet of fencing. So there's this fencing that goes all around here. And say like this is our length and our width. And because it's a rectangle, this is also the length and the width. Here's all of our beautiful fencing. And we went in the largest area she can create. So looking for those keywords here, largest means that we want to find the max, right? We want to figure out what, when is our area the max? And area is equal to length times width. But that's three variables then, area, length, width. So we need to use this fact that we have a thousand feet of fencing. So this fence is 1,000 feet. What does the 1,000 represent? And if we think about it, 1,000 is going all the way around the rectangle. And when you go all the way around the rectangle, that is your perimeter. So 1,000 is our perimeter. And to find the perimeter of a rectangle or any shape, you're really just adding up all the sides. So we're adding up length plus width plus length plus width. Or we have two lengths plus two widths. So 1,000 is equal to two lengths plus two widths. And so if we can do some substitution here, think back to what we've learned before, we can change our area formula so that it's no longer three variables. Um, so it doesn't matter necessarily which variable you choose because we're really only caring about the area. We don't care about which what's the length and the width are exactly. Um, so I'm going to solve for length. So if I do that, I would subtract 2w over, and then 2l is equal to 1,000 minus 2w, and then divide by 2, and we would have 500 minus w is our length. And so now that then gets plugged into our equation. And so our area is equal to 500 minus w times w. Or if we distribute the w, we have 500 w minus w squared. And so now it's a quadratic, right? Um, it's using a and w instead of x and y, but that's okay. Um, what we need to know though is like, you know, what's like our x term? That would be the w. So to find our maximum, what does that really mean, right? To find the maximum means that we need to find the vertex, because if it's a quadratic, it should hopefully open down, and you're looking for that maximum point right there. And if we look here at our equation, which I can rewrite um, so that it's more in that standard form, area equals negative w squared plus 500 w, we see here that our a is actually a negative 1. Right, so it is a negative value, which means that our graph is going to open down and we'll have a maximum. So we just need to do the math to figure that out. Right, to find the vertex, we would do x equals negative b over 2a, or w equals negative b over 2a. And our b here is 500, so negative 500 over 2 times our a, which is negative 1. Negative divided by negative makes a positive. 500 divided by 2 is 2. 50. So w is equal to 250, and I did not space things out well, um, but we have w is equal to 250, and we want to figure out what's the largest area she can create. Well, w equals 250, that's the width. To find the area that she can create, we can take that w equals 50, 250, and we can plug it back in up here. So um, in either one of those equations, it doesn't matter. All right, so area equals 500 minus 250 times 250. So if we do that math, 
area is equal to 500 minus 250 is 250. 250 times 250 is 62,500. So we didn't have very much room, so I moved the work over here. Right, so we have our area is equal to 62,500. Um, and we just have to think about our units. Right? The W we found was 250. Right, so the width was 250 feet, which you could do the math, and you could you know, take 500 minus W. Your length is also 250 feet. That's information that we don't need. Um, but knowing that our two dimensions are feet and feet, then we know that our area is feet squared. So the maximum area that she can have for her rectangular pen um, is 62,500 feet squared, which if you notice 250 by 250, it's actually a square.